Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to play once again <laughs> abstract um, landscape, kind of like a real soft, intimate, sweet little abstract field. Yep. I go over this step by step. No need for a traceable or any kind of reference photo. We're just bleeding paint, scraping paint, painting paint, splattering paint, all kinds of stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Um, also, don't please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials that are not on YouTube, and a live stream on, on the top tier once a month. You can check it out right up here in a second. Boop, boop. Yes, please people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, guys, so let's go over supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper taped down with some Scotch Magic tape. I'll be using my one inch flat craft wash brush. I'll be playing around with Princeton 10 long round. I'll be playing around with some other brushes. Uh, maybe the Princeton 12 Neptune series, just big floppy brushes. Um, I have my paints in my palette. We talk about them as I use them and they're always in the description box. Um, a Liquitex acrylic white ink. Um, a spray bottle is always good to have. Maybe I'll use a sponge, I'm not sure. And the credit card, an old credit card. And I have my water jars up here. So we're gonna start off mixing up some colors first and then we're gonna go and play around. So I'll just take my number 12 brush and mix up some nice, I want this really muted, kind of pretty, kind of <clears throat> abstract kind of look. So got my burnt umber here gonna mix up a good amount of this. This paper is gonna really soak it all up. I have my neutral tint color here. It is an actual color. So you make a nice pretty gray. I'm gonna make some greens. So I've got my cadmium yellow deep right here. And I'll mix up some peacock blue with that. Make some nice bright green, chartreuse color green. And I'll take some more of that here and I'll grab some Prussian blue to make a deeper green. See that? I always add a little burnt umber into it. So I'm going to be playing around with that greens and then the sky. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep it muted like a browns. Could do a touch of blue. This ultramarine, just a touch of blue. I'm going to be playing around. I'll actually add a little burnt umber to that. Let's see how that looks blue, the brown. Yeah, it's kind of like a nice muted color. Just, we're gonna be playing around with some really muted color tones and then throwing in some other colors. So, let's get started. <laughs> Take your flat wash brush or whatever big brush you have. And I'm just gonna start to put some water on the, just right now, like one fourth way down, going across. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get a good amount of water in here. And then we'll start to bleed in some colors. Now I'm not sure if I wanna keep it that way or I wanna just, I'm gonna grab that bluish brown just gonna kind of play around with the color in here first. Really, it's almost like a gray blue, so I'm gonna grab some more of ultramarine blue, some burnt umber, kind of mix the two, maybe a little more burnt umber. I do want like this brownish, kind of hazy kind of look. See how it's kind of a little brown tint to it? That's a little too burnt umbery, <laughs> burnt umbery. Going in here, playing around. You can always flip this. It's like a straight line, and I don't want it to be a straight line. So I can play around with adding color and flipping this. So I'm grabbing my neutral tint, putting it up on the line here. Grab some of that ultramarine blue. And I can start to bleed it down all in that space that you see. I do want to grab my spray bottle. I really want it to bleed it more. This is 
what the rubber sponge is good for too. You can like kind of soak up some of this. I do want it in brown kind of tone. So I'm going to mix my neutral tint with my burnt umber. Let's see what we got. Just kind of playing around with putting the color in. I have no rhyme or reason with this. I'm just kind of playing. Okay, let's flip it back. How do we see? How do we like it? And like I said, you can use... Oh, I didn't mention I have paper towels, but I have paper towels. I'm going to lift that paint up. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that soft tones that I've created there. So now on the bottom, I'm picturing like this. This is the back of the field. We could picture a tree kind of going in here, maybe a couple of bushes and stuff. And this whole front part is going to be a field. So I'm going to take my big floppy old 12. This is where I'm going to get the, the greens. I'll grab my Prussian blue. And I'm going to mix it in with some cabin yellow deep. Got some more blue. Just make a nice deep green. I had a little burnt number. Now it's still so wet, we can just kind of tap it and bleed a tree. So you kind of make it happen. I know it just went there. We just kind of tap the color as brown and green. Just put a little tree there. So I'm just taking the brush, the tippy tap, 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 tap. Which is like a nice bush kind of happening here. In the background, you can add a little Nuto tint kind of going in here. I don't want it just to be this one kind of tone green. It's the background bush. <laughs> Cleaning off my brush, I'm going to add some of this bright green in here, just on the right side. And put a little pin here. Some background bushes. Trees. Grab some of that darker green again. Gonna grab some straight burnt umber and noodle tint. Kind of bleed that. See what that creates. Remember, it's just really kind of abstract. It doesn't have to look like some kind of perfect bush. You can actually add some blue, more brown. I do want this green tone, but it's it's not quite the green. I add a little um, ultramarine. I'm going back in and tapping my paper towel. Kind of play around with too. We can actually lift up some of the paint with the with your sponge. See what happens. This is a sea sponge that I picked up in Lake Michaels. I'm going to add the burnt umber back in here with this green. And again, now that it's a little more dry, I soaked up some of all that was so wet. And I didn't really want that. I do want some dark trees. Just gonna come play around with seeing how this looks. Maybe a little too brown. I'll add a little more blue. Still bleeding because it's wet and damp there. I'm gonna go add some here. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted one, two, three bushes. Might have to like take out something over here. It's the beauty of watercolor at this point. So I cleaned up my brush. I might just lift up some of this color. So, you know, it's kind of like an abstract. I don't know if I like that. And we did want it kind of like muted anyway. See how I'm just lifting and tapping my paper towel? Same thing here. like off in a distance bush. Lifting up some of the color, tapping a little more over here. Go back and add some brown. I'm just playing guys. This is the whole point. Play, play, play. <laughs> play all day.
and I'm gonna lift up so I'm gonna just kind of turn my brush I'm lifting up some more paint Let's see what happens if you hear that weird noise it's the um, the ice yes we get more snow where I live I'm so sick of it see I'm just kind of rolling the brush creating that kind of cool atmosphere I might go back in and take some more paint and roll that too still damp so I can go back in and play a little bit you don't want to do too much because it's still kind of damp all kinds of noises in my studio today see I'm creating kind of just the tip of my brush and create some trees just lifting up some spike like that and going in like this tap 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 See how I lifted up that paint over here? See, lift, tap, lift, tap, rolling the brush a little bit. And I like the way that bush looks now. It just has that real soft, elegant kind of look to it. So I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to go crazy if I do any more. So now, what's what? The bottom. Now, it doesn't matter that my brush is a little dirty with color. This is the fun part. <laughs> like it isn't fun already right all right it can bleed down the bottom here it's fine okay this is where our, our Princeton eight long round will come in handy or like a nice pointy kind of brush we're gonna have fun I'm gonna use some yellows too I mean I have a lot of green with this yellow I want to mix some more just plain old yellow I'm gonna put it down here with the orange Sorry, I'm clanking, clanking, clanking. So, got the burnt umber. We got the noodle tin. We're gonna mix some of that. Gotta clean up our brush. We're gonna add some more water. See how really loose that is? Woo! Swishy, swishy. That's really loose. We want that. We're just gonna be going like this now. We're gonna be doing some kind of fun grasses. Taking the the grays, the browns, the chartreuse green. See this? We're, we're gonna have fun here. Green, a dark green. Up and down, up and down. We're building, we're building. Some of that neutral tint coming down. And some dark, you know, where it starts to dry the paint, you're going to notice is a chartreuse color. Just making some grasses. I know you guys can do this. Grabbing the neutral tint. It's bleeding a little bit because, of course, it's still damp. I'm gonna grab some of the blue, some brown. And now you can start to make some deeper colors. I'm just grabbing some burnt umber, some peacock blue. Ooh, yeah. Grab a little bit of yellow. Get this deeper green. You know what I'm saying. You got some brown, some green, some grays. Throw some blues in there, ultramarine blue splatter a little bit we're having fun we're having fun splatter you see how I'm kind of just taking the brush and going like that this movement do something like that play so ch -ch, on the side you hear that just some dry brushing going on so now we're differentiating where the background is in the foreground. Just doing this fun stuff. You can do it the opposite way too. Now all our like lines have bled, but that doesn't matter. It's just getting you used to painting those strokes. We're gonna have more fun with that in a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna bleed this color going downward. Doesn't it already look pretty? I'm kind of taking water and just pushing around the paint down here. So it's very wet. And start to grab some neutral tint. Again, grass. You can have grass with more definition at this point. See? The tip of my brush has neutral tint. It's going to bleed. But it's pretty concentrated. 
get some browns in there. I like mixing the neutral tint with the amber um, amber. More intentional lines, right? Get that bright green in there. Now, it's still not filled all the way to the bottom. If you want to do that, you just kind of put some water, swish the paint around. You can also can add some of this bright chartreuse color right here. Unexpected, right? The whole thing is very soft and urethral. And that's what I was going for. Just this abstract, really soft, kind of early spring grass field painting. Getting some neutral tint, some brown. See, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> now, the same technique we've used many times. You know, keep, see, I'm going to go back in and have these, these colors neutral tint, browns. Try and have some intentional grasses here. They're still going to bleed a little bit. We will go back in when it's completely dry and really add in some intentional stuff. At this point, we're just kind of letting the soft bleeds happen. And they'll work in our favor too. Just making grasses go this way and that way. Okay, now we can do a couple of things. Clean off our brush. We could use this to kind of remove the paint the same way we did up there. See how I'm removing it? Take your time. So I'm make, making grass kind of removing the paint, see? Now I have so many things I've shown where I've done this. There's a flower one, I'll, I'll link it, but you'll see it. If you go to my um, page and you see all my videos, you see one. See, I'm removing that color. Kind of cool, right? These are fun things you can do, guys. You're painting it. And see how I pushed the paint? Went up there, didn't it? Yeah, I didn't think that would happen, did you? And you can see how I pushed up the grass and I can paint little teeny strokes for like a wheat or something. Didn't think you could do that. But you can <laughs> remove some paint. It's also fun if you take the mm -hmm, yes, you know what I'm talking about. The white acrylic ink. Let's just grab a brush, and you can splatter some of this, and it'll bleed in the. Spots we want to, or you could use salt. Bring a lot down this section here. Still very damp, so if it's not damp, it won't bleed. If it's damp, it will bleed. You know me in this white, you can use acrylic paint, um, gouache instead too. And that one just created a big blob. I'll just lift that up with a paper towel. Don't you like it? It's kind of like a nice little field of white. If you don't want, uh, the top half to get it, just cover it. So if you just want the bottom. Kind of like snow, but not really. <laughs> okay, and then you remove that. Look how pretty that looks already. It's already doing its bleed. You can also kind of just paint them into strategically you know some bigger ones this is the biggest one was there you can do some bigger ones up in here just keep tapping it tap 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 looks like this beautiful soft field right could be almost like dandelions or little flowers Right now, I'm already loving it the way it looks. So you can kind of go back in and then the credit card thing. Grab your credit card. Now let's damp, not super wet. You can scrape up the grasses also. See that? Don't 
Don't go too crazy. You can get crazy with the credit card. And then you can go back in if you wanted to to lift up some more of the paint. See how that oh, I got a little yellow on my brush. Even though the white is there, you can still play around with that. I just I'm like having fun. This is really dry on this side, so it's really not lifting. You're going to have to kind of go where it's wet. Just a soft, pretty field. You know, kind of in that mood, right? La la daydreaming mood. Okay, so I think at this point I'm going to stop and then I'm going to come back when it's dry. And we're going to play around with putting some real grasses in that are, you know, you can actually see in some color. Okay, so it's all dry. Now, I didn't mention that I like a good flat wash brush. It's like a 3 8 inch wash. This one's on an angle, but these ones help for really great um, if you want to make some, you know, linear kind of things with a little action. So I'm mixing up some more of those grays and the greens, all that stuff. So at this point, now it's dry, you can actually just start to go up, see, straight up. You can kind of push down the color and crisscross up in this area. You can add some browns. A little bit deeper if you want. I just think that the flat brush brush helps, you know, and then you can just make like these little, so I'm just pushing down on the brush, show you up close, just pushing down like that, you make these little, oh, like leaves, very delicate, go up and then just push down on the side, uh, I might have some like brown, yellow, browns, orange kind of color tones. And you want to play around with, see I'm kind of curving it this way and that way. Again, you want to just put some little push down on the, the brush. Almost like wheat or just the leaves. And the different colors help. See I'm adding a little orange to change it up a little bit. Go up and down and put some on this side. Again, just push down. And you're going to keep, keep doing this until you feel. Going to add some more deeper browns. Don't forget every now and then to add something dark, dark and mysterious. So, with these kind of black brush brushes, you can kind of go up here and then push down and go back, creating this really nice, grabbing some more darker tones. Like I said, don't be afraid. Put in some of the darker tones. It doesn't have to always be light. I'm just having fun with the grasses. Now, because it's spring, you do want to add some light green tones. So I'm going to go back in with some pretty, some greens. The grass. Again, you can add little leaves kind of popping up. Just a few, not like a million of them. Kind of crisscrossing in here. Now the white kind of looks like little white flowers, so you can leave it like that intentionally. Now you don't have to do all these little grasses, by the way. I just think it's fun. You can add some peacock blue. Play around with the different tones. See a little more turquoise in there. Or you can keep it all in the browns. Just showing you guys different ways. Again, pull the grasses up here. Don't be afraid to play. Play is what it's all about. And then I'll grab some deeper tones. 
See, I'm just pushing down and making those little marks. Just really simple. Maybe the sides look a little bit darker. Maybe the sun's like setting back over here. You know, just imagining that. So that side's a little darker. And then you could throw in some, you know, colors if you want. Um, straight yellow from the tube. Push down here. I'll add a little of this cabin red light. See, I'm putting them under my paper towel. Why am I doing that? I just want to just take off. See, doing this whole movement. Just tap it. Tap it, tap it. Tap it. The orange, too. Tap it. Dry brush technique. You're not really putting a lot of water in there. Just adding a little of this yellow orange, a little bit of red. You want to keep it in the browns, keep it in the browns. I'm just adding a touch of color. Just a little touch. And I'll just keep playing with this till I feel I like it. You know, the greens. It's all in how you feel. And some more of that orange. This red orange kind of tone. Take that cadmium red light. Doing a few color marks in there. It's always fun to play. And I just do this all day. Like I said, you can do some bigger leaf marks and some deeper ones. So I've got that neutral tint with the brown. Let me go in here and put like a real nice deeper green like leaf. If I didn't like that, clean up my brush. Just wet it. That's another thing you can do and just pick it up. Soften it. That's pretty much it. You can go around playing with your Princeton 8 and use the same thing. I just like different brushes. The flat wash. The Princeton 8 has nice pointy grasses also. Don't be afraid to have some really wide ones and some really skinny ones. And you can go back in with um, the acrylic ink of yours, like you know, all washed away, and you wanted some more of those white little splotches. Don't be afraid to play around with putting them back in, like I just did. This cute little field, and also, again. Remove some paint. Paper towel, close by. I'm removing paint to get that softness. You see, it's almost like the sun's coming through right here. Remove. I want you guys to play around with that kind of technique. It's just a fun thing to do. These are things to do when you're bored and you have no ideas. Just play, splatter, move things around. It's kind of how I roll. See? You just never know what you can create when you just keep playing. All right, let's see what we've got. Remove the tape. Sweet little field. Oops, spring, early spring field. Wasn't that fun? So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And guys, just have fun. Don't, you know, stress about it. I see how we just bled in some paint, splatter, and pick, remove, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, take care guys and have a great day. And I'll speak to you soon.